Hi, I'm Lisa Godinho. I'm the Principal Field Research Scientist um, with Melbourne's Microbats. This is a project um, where we're trying to um, get an understanding of how um, bats use the urban environment. Um, so microbats um, typically use tree hollows to roost in during the day. They're nocturnal animals. Um, they come out at night to feed on insects. Um, and we want to understand how the massive changes that we've made to their natural environment uh, impacting on the number of species that we find um, in and around the city um, and how they're using the city, where are they roosting. Um, so it's part of a, a, a larger study um, and Caroline Wilson is the PhD student involved. So basically um, the study involves trapping using these heart traps. Uh, we trap bats um, to get an understanding of which species are in the area and then we are fixing um, radio transmitters to some of those bats and there's three of them out there at the moment uh, which Caroline is tracking. The Earthwatch volunteers are involved in um, the field studies that we're doing. Um, we're using these heart traps to um, trap bats at night so that we can assess which species are using the urban environment and then um, those volunteers then help us process the animals so that includes taking some measurements, um, recording some data about each of the um, individuals that we catch um, and then some individuals um, we're fixing radio transmitters to um, so that they can be followed um, back to their roosts during the day um, so that we know whereabouts, if they're using the botanic gardens as a roosting site, which trees are they, are they using? Are they native trees? Are they introduced trees? And if they're not in the, in the gardens, where are they? Um, are they in buildings? Are they in other trees around the city? Um, so it's really important that we understand um, how they're using the urban environment so that we can plan for their future conservation and think about, in terms of urban planning, how can we better accommodate some of the wildlife um, that we have sharing the city with us. So microbats are a really important part of um, Australia's biodiversity. Um, they're really important insectivores. Um, all of those mosquitoes and moths and bugs and things that we see so many of on some hot summer nights. Um, these animals are out there eating pretty much their body weight every night in insects. So really important in controlling insect populations. Um, so we understand other than that very little about how they fit into um, the ecology. Um, of Australia and in particular the ecology and the urban environment. So um, the more we can have volunteers involved in projects like this, um, the better our understanding is going to be of these really important little animals. I found the whole thing like, really fascinating. Like the whole process is just amazing. Like all the little tiny details. Um, as a field researcher, um, I find working with volunteers um, a really great experience. They bring a lot to the project, um, their enthusiasm, different points of view, new ways of looking at things, and sometimes the volunteers come up with better ways of, of doing things than we would have thought of ourselves. So it's um, having their, their hands and their able bodies is really important, but having their minds and their contributions and, um, and their enthusiasm and, and enjoyment of the subject really just, um, I guess, brings back to you um, how lucky you are to have a job as a, as a field researcher. So the volunteers are just fabulous.